grace and peace as we have church challenges then and now. Um, I'm saving one of the best ones here for last because no matter really how tricky things get, I'm truly thankful it is not quite as tricky as say, the early conflicts between the Apostle Paul and James, the brother of Jesus, and those early, early days. So you can look in the book of Acts uh, 15 and 21, or you can begin to read um, the epistle of James, which is the little series we're moving into. And if you tuned into Church Without Borders, you heard just a bit about it. So whew, early church, we had some pretty I'll call them passionate people, or maybe scrappy, or mm, spunky, or maybe cantankerous. We'll see. Um, they were really figuring stuff out, and they could get a little violent, which seems strange considering how we understand Jesus to be today with the Prince of Peace and those sorts of words that we would follow. However, hmm, think of what we have done in the name of our Lord and Savior and not just in recent days, but hmm, the Crusades come to mind and some other wonderful adventures that maybe we might call a bit aggressive. Yeah, okay, I'll call them violent. So church challenges then and now, we really can tend to get more than a bit passionate and assertive in terms of what we believe, can't we? And it started from the very get-go as we would say from uh, my home place. So from the beginning, our challenges, for better or for worse, have come all this way with us. But maybe, just maybe, we're no longer throwing one another down the stairs and then beating each other to death. Or are we? about what we believe. And if we still are, maybe we better still be getting back to it because I'm fairly certain in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus didn't teach that anyway.